In the previous two videos, we learned how to load page data by defining a load function in page.js file. Now what you should know is that this load function is called a universal load function. And that simply means it runs both on the server and in the browser. Let me show that to you. Before we begin though, I want you to make a small change in app.html. Please remove the data swellkit preload data attribute on the body tag. This is a feature which might unnecessarily confuse you at this point in time. Of course, we will talk about that attribute later in the series. Now, back in page.js, within the load function, I'm going to add a lock statement. Load function called in page.js. Let's save the file and head back to the browser. I'm going to have the DevTools console panel open on the right, and I'm also going to open the terminal in VS Code. Now there are two scenarios I want you to closely observe. For the first scenario, I'm going to navigate to the products route from the address bar. So localhost 5173 slash products. The product list page loads, and we see the message from the load function in the console. Load function called in page.js. If we take a look at the terminal in VS Code, we see the same message. So our load function runs on the server and in the browser. Let's now move on to the second scenario where we rely only on client side navigation from the home page. Click on product and we have the message in the console. Back in the terminal, we have the message from the previous request, but not from the client side navigation. And this is because client side navigation does not execute any code on the server. So the bottom line is that a load function defined in plus page.js file is called a universal load function. For a page refresh, this function runs both on the server and in the browser. For client side routing, it only runs in the browser. Something very important to keep in mind. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.